you and I are in the front line and we've, we, are, we are just right now when I, what COVID has done to the industry, I would love to get, what, what are you seeing from your side at the moment? What are, what are some of the things? I think to? COVID brought out some fascinating things within organizations that I wasn't expecting. Mm-hmm. And a lot of it was some, some organizations went really quick and did something mm-hmm. and others just sat and waited. Mm-hmm. And leaders did the same. Some leaders filled that space and some stepped back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think there's some great stories. What examples have you got of uh, businesses that maybe did that immediate change? Immediate change. I, I think what, I, what I'm seeing is that uh, it was a wake up call. And I know that Deloitte put up a, a paper recently that said, that there's been 10 years advancement in the last 90 days yeah. of digitization, yeah. which is incredible. And I think with that digitization and that ability to work from home, um, people used to look at working from home as is a bit of a, a bit of a sky. Mm-hmm. I think it's part of the new normal. Yeah, I think it's part yeah. of the new normal. And I think it's a wake up call. Not only have you seen companies sort of improving their infrastructure mm-hmm. to allow people uh, to work from home, but I'm also seeing it's been a wake up call that they've realized that the way that they deliver their projects mm. cannot be big, lumpy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now we're going to do the documentation. Now yeah. we've got to have a new ways of working. And incredibly, um, it's it, agile very much fits into that. You know, the yeah. idea of that it can be, it's not ideal, but you can work with a, a distributed team. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 the, and the benefits thereof. So they're saying, we've got to change the way we're working and therefore we've got to actually accelerate our adoption of yeah, Agile. Yeah, I think Agile fits into it, even though a lot of organizations wouldn't call it. We're seeing the word pivot a lot. So we had a company that used to make theater equipment, big backdrops for movies. Couldn't, they went out of, would have gone out of business. Mm-hmm. They started making tables mm-hmm. for people mm-hmm. to use mm-hmm. to work from home. Mm-hmm. Now they didn't know that was agile, mm-hmm. but that mm-hmm. was agile thinking. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. was the agile mindset coming mm-hmm. into place. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that organization continued to make money and employ their staff mm-hmm. because they thought differently. And mm-hmm. agile is about thinking differently and trying something. It is. And, I, and there, are, there, are, there are things, uh, particularly the events of uh, Scrum, mm-hmm. that uh, are very natural. It's a natural way of getting your team together, yeah. as opposed to we are all going to meet at this yeah. time and this is what we're going to do. And I think for me at least, um, I read a, a fascinating article that was about the daily scrum. Mm. And the daily scrum is is a, is, a, is is when your team get together just for 15 minutes and it's to essentially synchronize and orientate. And what teams are now doing is that they realize that the daily scrum, people were looking forward to it because this is almost like a, a, I get to see another friendly face it, in, it, a, in my team. It's the human connection and the daily scrum for me has become the thing I love every day. It's 10 o'clock, I get to see all of my team. Mm-hmm. We're all working virtually, mm-hmm. yet we get this moment where we all connect on video and we mm-hmm. get to, to smile. Mm-hmm. We, we've even started sharing not just the work but how are we and what are we grateful for what are we grateful for each day and it just connects us as humans yes every day yes and there's an example um in the uk that um i seen that, that, that what they were doing is that they were calling it the breakout cafe yeah. so they were doing the daily scrum mm-hmm. and then afterwards everyone was just getting together and and just saying how you know how's the wife and kids how are you doing um what are you getting up to just to have that that, that, as the Americans call it, a water cooler moment to say, how are you getting on? Are you okay? Are you, are you all right? Which I think is yeah. a really unexpected uh, circumstance. But what about training virtually, Stu? So like people are working from home and adjusting. Can you yeah. run a training course and, and, and be at home? And can the participants be at home and get as good an experience? I think uh, if, if, I'm, if I'm honest, a lot of people when they first started, they were very, um, there was a great deal of trepidation mm about sitting in front of a laptop yeah. and watching someone train you for yeah. two days. So I, I guess, I mean, you and I talked about this a lot. How do you make it, um, how do you make, how do you bring some of that class yeah. goodness, that interaction, that energy yeah. into the training courses? And it's been, it's been a phenomenal challenge, but wow, you know, the feedback that I see that, you know, that we're, that we're both getting at the moment, which is just off the charts. Yeah. So. You know, would you explain some of the things that you're doing in your course? 
I think the, 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 media, the medium is there, using things like Zoom and Mural to collaborate online. The tech is there. Mm -hmm. Anyone can pick up the tech. Mm -hmm. But it's how do you blend the different types of tech. Mm -hmm. So blending the use of small group activities in Mural to co-create. Mm -hmm. But blending that with some of the old school, the mm -hmm. posters that we use, you know, the, teaching yeah. through drawing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, makes a massive impact. Yeah. And people always kind of uh, engaged because we keep mixing up the different flavors of how we how we connect with them yes. rather than just having one flavor for the whole that course. talking head yeah. and uh, i think some of the feedback that i i was surprised and made i was so chuffed with which was like um you made it not feel like an interactive yeah. experience and yeah. whoa would what a, you know if you can do that yeah. and particularly um, what we're now seeing is that though a lot of people are now seeing that this could be the way of this we could be doing this for a very long time yeah. and therefore let's bite the bullet I want to get that 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 additional um, uh, qualification I want to yeah. get that certification I want to get that that those tips tricks and traps and are actually doing it now yeah. so they're taking that that leap of faith and and certainly the feedback that we're getting that that people are are being rewarded um, but absolutely, and, 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 and I think it's worth talking about the idea as well of um, it's not just the talking head, it's things like videos. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned the posters, the interactivity of people collaborating together. And I think it's these um, facilitation techniques that people are going to need in the future. So that when you are a scrum master, when they are a scrum master or a product owner, they're going to need to facilitate online. Yeah. And they've got, they too have got to learn yeah. how to do. Yeah, they the walk process. away not just knowing Scrum and getting a certification, mm -hmm. but they know how to work virtually. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm sure that many of them take the tips from the two day course and when they get back to work, become awesome virtual facilitators. Yeah. And that's not, yeah. what they, that's not what they're signing up for, but they're walking away with that as a dish. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a value add. Yeah. It's a, going through it.